In this example, we are to find the intervals on which the function given by the graph is increasing, decreasing, or constant. Let's recall that the function is increasing on the interval when the graph of the function is rising, function is decreasing when the graph is falling, and the function is constant when the graph is a piece of the horizontal line. If you quickly scan the graph, you can see that no part of the graph is a horizontal line, and therefore we can say that function is never constant. Now, as for increasing and decreasing parts, we can uh, follow the graph uh, in the increasing direction of the x from left to right and see which part of the graph is falling, which part of the graph is rising. So, let's start with the leftmost part, where if you follow the graph, you can see that the graph is going down, the graph is falling until it reaches the point negative 2 negative 5. So this part is falling and therefore function is decreasing. Now once we reach decreasing part, once we reach the point negative 2, negative 5, the graph starts to rise and it rises until we reach the point 2 and 5. This part is increasing. Once we reach the part uh, point two five and continue on the graph, the graph is, uh, starts going down, the graph falls, and therefore this part is decreasing. So now we only have to figure out uh, interval for which that um, parts, each part is defined. So let's start with the increasing part. Function is uh, increasing starting from the point negative 2.5 up to the point 2.5. When the function changes through that interval, the values of x change from negative 2 to 2, and therefore we can say that the function is increasing on the interval from negative 2 to 2. For decreasing parts, there are two pieces that where the function is decreasing. And the first one is the first part where we go from minus infinity to the point negative 2, negative 5, and therefore the values of x change from negative infinity to negative 2. But there is another piece, so we add to that another interval. We'll start with the, the other piece starts when x is equal to 2, so we we'll start at 2, and we'll continue, the graph continues until plus infinity. So this is the union of the intervals. On those two intervals, the function is decreasing.